There's a wide spectrum of disease that involves the breast. Uh, not all of it is cancer, some of it is benign, some of it is a little bit indeterminate. What's really important with your breast health is to make sure that you get your yearly screening mammograms because not only does that pick up things like breast cancer, it also can pick up indeterminate lesions that may need some sort of excisional biopsy or something a little bit more than just a regular core biopsy would get. Sometimes the pathology report from the biopsy is benign and sometimes nothing needs to be done. Sometimes I recommend maybe getting a mammogram at six months instead of 12. Sometimes the pathology report is a little bit indeterminate and sometimes there are things that require a more thorough biopsy, which is where I might take you to the operating room and do a larger biopsy called an excisional biopsy. And then if there is cancer on the biopsy, then we kind of discuss what that, what that means for you and we kind of go over based on your specific results. I go over with patients what their options are. When their breast cancers are found early and quite small, are good candidates for breast conservation with a smaller surgery that doesn't require a full-blown mastectomy. Some patients are not candidates for that just due to a number of factors. Some patients need chemotherapy before surgery. And so those are all reasons why it's good to get the team on board and it's good to get everyone in communication with a new breast cancer diagnosis to make sure that we do the right thing up front. As far as specific surgeries, that's a very detailed discussion that I have with every individual patient. A lot of it comes down to what is technically feasible from a surgery standpoint. Uh, some of it comes down to patient preference. There's also a number of other things that come into play, such as genetic predispositions. Um, some women have uh, genetic mutations that predispose them to breast cancer and ovarian cancer, and so then we discuss, do we need to do prophylactic or risk-reducing mastectomy? Mastectomy is removal of all of the breast tissue on that side. There's multiple types of mastectomies. There is the simple mastectomy uh, that a lot of people are, are more familiar with. Uh, there are some newer techniques uh, that include skin sparing and nipple sparing mastectomies. Most surgeries that we do now are actually day procedures. So uh, you come in, you have your surgery done, and most people go home the same day. Typically post-op depends on the type of surgery you have. If you've had a small surgery like a lumpectomy, um, typically there's no drain that needs to be taken care of or anything like that. Usually it's just uh, monitoring their incision at home and then we see them in the office in a couple of weeks to review their pathology report uh, and also to make sure their incisions are healing as they should. For a larger operation such as a mastectomy, typically there is some drain care that is involved with it, but again it's something that we make sure our patients are totally comfortable with before we send them home. I think it's just really important for everyone to understand that again, every breast cancer diagnosis and every breast cancer patient are different. And so it's really, really taking a good history and doing a good physical exam is really important on my part to be able to best understand every individual patient. After I review all of your imaging and we meet and we talk about all of your options, really what I really focus on is making a decision with my patient, not for my patient. They're the captain of their own ship. I'm not going to do anything that's not indicated or that would harm them. A lot of times it's just kind of a decision that we come to together as far as what next steps are we going to take and what surgery are we going to go with.